the war on cowboy builders is far from over. Across the nation, families' lives are still being devastated by unscrupulous rogues. I hate it more than words can say. I don't know how they can sleep at night. Sorry. I'm Dominic Littlewood, and I'm determined to expose every one of these shameful contractors. Don't do this on the street, because I'll start losing this ember. I'm going to expose them so the whole of the country can see exactly who they are and how they treat their customers. And I'm Melinda Messenger. I'll move heaven and earth to give these families back their homes. It is absolutely perfect. You have, you've given our lives back. This series, we are tackling our most daring and dangerous projects ever. The entire back of your house is missing. Jesus Christ, what is this? So, cowboys, beware. Your world's about to come crashing down. I'm on the phone with a victim of a building firm I've been monitoring for quite some time. OK, and then what happened? The company's called First Four Renovations, and until now, they've slipped through my fingers. Would it be possible to come around and see you in person? But I can't do this alone, so I'm picking up Melinda en route to their house. A couple of years ago, a firm stepped into our radar called First Four Renovations. I spoke to a woman, and she's been let down by them, and it's a current situation, and that's where we're going now. Wayne and Maria Marr live with their 11-year-old daughter, Emily, in a modest, detached home in Worcester Park, Surrey. Wayne works in laboratory sales, and Maria manages a coffee company in London. The Mars had always dreamt of open-plan living, but like many families in the current climate, they couldn't afford to move, so they decided to stay put and to extend their home. It was something that I always wanted, to have a um, nice living kitchen with a big farm table where I can be cooking and Emily can be doing her homework. To afford their dream, they've scrimped and saved, working long and unsociable hours and juggling precious family time. After searching for builders online, they were contacted by first four renovations. And they just seemed so much better than all the other people who came around. You know, they were really eager. They, they, it seemed like they really wanted our business. So, so we went with them. The builders appeared so convincing the Mars didn't hesitate and signed the £37,000 contract without checking references. They were working every day really nicely and for the two weeks they were the perfect builders. Perhaps too perfect. Work started at breakneck speed and the Mars happily handed over more and more money. But after paying out a total of £23,000, the builders stopped coming and never returned. Wayne and Maria were left with just this. A shell of an extension with just foundations, a floor and a couple of walls. When they realised the builders weren't coming back, Wayne and Maria were left in a state of shock. They've, they, they've just walked away with our money. I, I, I just realised then... I just wanted to know why they done that to me and... and... That was when Wayne and Maria realised they'd handed over 23 grand for a build that had barely got started. Taking money from people, stealing, uh, for me it's just plain stealing. After two years of tracking these cowboys, this is the closest I've come to a smoking gun. The builders left here just a few months ago. Hi, Wayne Maria. Yes. Dominic and Melinda from Cowboy Builders. I called you earlier. Nice yes. You what the Mars wanted was a large kitchen extension at the rear of the property. The plan was to knock down the external wall and then remove the internal wall between the kitchen and dining room, extending out to create a large patio, seamlessly joining the house and garden through a pair of bifolding doors. But instead, all they got was the foundations, two breeze block walls, a concrete floor, and a wrecked garden. So this is it. Um, Crikey. It's non-existent, isn't it? It is really? non-existent. What's going on out here? Because this is obviously extended out a bit further than the extension, so yeah, I'm assuming... Yeah, this, this is the patio area that right. will have the same floor. Why did they stop? It went wrong when they, they meant to come 
on a Monday to feed their stills and yeah. they never come back. We call and telephones were disconnected. Would it surprise you to know that we've had a lot of complaints about this company going back a few years? Really? A few yeah. years? Yeah. Mm. When we realised we'd, that we'd been done, it, it, it's that... It, it, you, you know, you, you're almost physically sick. There appeared to be two men in charge of first four renovations. Builder Christian Lorden and Assad Ahmed, who later claimed to be just a broker for the company. Assad, who's the sales guy, was, was the guy up, sort of leading it all. Um, the brains. The brains. Christian was, was the, the nice guy, you know, when he comes in, he's sort of just chirping. The builder, nice nothing is a problem, yeah. and yeah. everything should be fine, and, and yeah. yeah, very nice person. But these builders have left the Mars dreams in tatters. For me, what's worse is actually seeing Maria, um, it, you know, almost more than the build. You know, I want Maria to, to be OK. You know, I want her to sleep. I want her to, to smile, not to cry. I'm determined to track down the cowboys responsible so no one has to suffer the way Maria has again. You don't want people to know how you're feeling. It's like, it's OK, it's under control, but it's not. You don't trust anybody now. You really worry and you're like, you don't trust anybody. At least now we can we can start on getting you guys back on the, the road to recovery. Yeah. And hopefully you'll feel that trust for people again. Hopefully. Yeah. A little. You certainly deserve it. <laughs> What seemed like a relatively simple build turns out to be a complete nightmare. He's left the most expensive and complicated part by a mile. They've well and truly been had there, haven't they? And I learn that Assad Ahmed is not quite the friendly salesman he makes out to be. The physicality and the, the threats of that man put on my wife and myself, he, he should be locked up, he should be something. This week, we're in Surrey, tracking down a company we've had on our radar for some time. Wayne and Maria Ma handed over their hard-earned savings to cowboy builder Christian Lorden and sales manager Assad Ahmed. It, it, it really makes you feel sick. I just wanted to know why they done that to me. What we got here? I need to get to the bottom of why first four renovations left the Mars job before it was even half finished. And I'm starting by looking through Wayne and Maria's paperwork. So day one, they want four grand off you. But to dig out the footings, they want another four and a half grand. Yeah. Then they got, fill the footings, right? Basically, you fill a full of concrete, another four and a half grand. You know, to pay 13 grand to dig a hole full of concrete is a lot of money. Wayne and Maria had naively agreed to a top-heavy payment schedule, paying out far more money than the value of the works completed. After the Mars had handed over 23 grand to first four renovations, builder Christian Lorden was never heard from again. But they did hear from the company's sales guy, Assad Ahmed. Hi Maria, I cannot get hold of Christian, dot, dot, dot. And he's saying here, as you know, I do not get involved in the building side of things, only the sales side. So that's Assad distancing himself from the actual building, which he says is Christian's fault. This Assad character says he's not a director of the company and that he hadn't even been in the country while the build was going on. He says that he's been unable to get hold of Christian, but get this, he's then offering to come back and finish the work himself. Now, I thought he was just a sales guy. The only option I present to remedy the matter is as follows. You can meet with me. This will be on a separate agreement with me personally. He wants £8,000 for labour and to get the job done, plus £4,250 for the steels, so he wants, basically wants another £12,250 there. Yeah. I like this line, I still have access to all staff Chris would have used. Mm. Interesting. But he can't get older Chris. Yeah, no. and mm. he's only a salesperson. When Maria and Wayne asked some very reasonable questions about the offer, Assad suddenly gave them an unreasonable deadline of one day in which to decide whether to accept. The Mars felt unfairly pressurised and couldn't decide in this time. You know, this enough smells like a scam to me. I mean, firstly, the builder, Christian Lorden, has disappeared. And then you've got Assad Ahmed, the sales manager. Now, he's claiming not to have anything at all to do with first for renovations. But you see, the trouble is, these two have been in our radar for a while. So I have my doubts about that. What I now intend to do is to track down as many people as I can who have been affected by these two. 
Hi, John. How are you doing? Not too bad. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not bad Meanwhile, I've asked my builder, John Russell, to assess the job ahead of us. Well, what's up doesn't look bad, does it? No. You know what I mean? It looks, it looks like a bricklayer's done that. He thinks the work the builders have done so far is acceptable. It's just that there isn't much of it. I don't think he's spent more than five grandy. You're kidding me. Not, not a cat in hell's chance. What is there? Some sand, cement, few blocks. They've spent £23,000 and this is only worth around £5,000. Twenty-three grand. At a glance, and I need to study it, he's left the most expensive and complicated part by a mile. Really? Because what you're doing here, we're removing this internal wall. Yes. Which I know for a fact that that will be supporting the chamber floor of the house. To create the open plan kitchen, the exterior and interior walls need to be removed. Then the entire weight of the rest of the house will be supported on a solid rectangle made up of four steel beams. A fifth steel will then be installed for the extension. It's a tricky bit of engineering, leaving the most complicated part of the build ahead of us. He has done less than 20% of the graft on this job. Really? Yeah, that's why he's done one. First four renovation salesman Assad Ahmed told the Mars that he was the good guy and that Christian Lorden had gone AWOL. But I've got my doubts. So, I'm visiting a man who knows them both only too well. Terry. Hi, Dom. Good to meet you. All, All right. right. Yeah. First for renovations. You got something to tell me about? I have indeed. Come in. Terry Scott from Sussex contacted me in 2009, but sadly, at the time, we weren't in any position to help him. First four renovations quoted Terry £65,000 for a kitchen and two-storey side extension. At the beginning, quite a bit happened. Um, you know, foundations were done, um, some walls started going up. Uh, then things started slowing down. After paying out nearly 50 grand, Terry became concerned by the progress of the build. Subcontractors weren't being paid and there were few workers on site. Christian was very difficult to contact, was not here a lot of the time. And the build just got behind and behind. Then Christian vanished, leaving an unfinished build. Soon, Terry received a surprising email from Assad, who he believed to be the boss of the company. I'm having very major problems with Christian, and it looks like I'll be removing his involvement with the company today. Unfortunately, not your problem, I know, but I've been left in a situation with sacking Christian. The matter's been reported, but has affected the company financially. Did you try and clarify any of that with Christian? I couldn't get hold of Christian. If in 2009 Assad was in the position of power at first four renovations to be sacking Christian, why, a year and a half later, would he still be working with him and claiming to be just a salesman with no responsibility for the problems on the Mars build? Just like at Wayne and Maria's, once Christian went AWOL, Assad asked for more money. I effectively just said, Assad, I do not know what planet you are on. Um, and that was the last conversation I had with him. Just them both to me. What are they like? Christian is that um, guy without a neck. Is he a big guy? He is indeed. Whereas Assad is uh, slightly more sophisticated and uh, yeah, a lot of front to him. Assad since claimed that Terry is lying. He says the project went over budget and that Terry was holding money back. He also said he ensured staff were on site every day and claimed his guys had finished the job. If Terry had been left majorly out of pocket, he would have sued him for a large sum. But Terry didn't see any point in suing as he thought Assad wouldn't cough up and says he's already paid another £38,000 on the build and it's still not finished. You know, that's two homeowners with very similar stories. Christian doing a disappearing act and Assad making out he's the good guy. I smell a rat. When I smell a rat, it's normally because I'm dealing with one. And it's not just homeowners they've been ripping off. Terry's given me the contact details of some plumbers